In Way of the Peaceful Warrior, uh, you talk about Socrates teaching Dan to develop a direct experience with reality rather than seeing reality through the lens of judgment or illusion. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share a little bit about how we do that, how, how we can practice that? Well, sure. Uh, imagine, if you will, a bar graph. And at the very top, bottom of that graph would be someone who is completely out of touch with reality. What might you call someone who's like completely out of touch with reality as we know it? Maybe they just sit. Hmm? We call them normal. Normal. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Anything else? Hmm? Catatonic? Psychotic? I mean, insane, we might say. Um, just gazing into space and drooling. Um, but what about the other end of that graph, the top? Somebody who is totally in touch with reality. As Tammy referred to, someone who has the windows of perception clear, nothing in the way of a direct relationship with what is arising in the moment. The Zen masters call it suchness or isness. Uh, completely in touch with the simplicity of this mysterious arising without all the extras we add to it, all the meanings and judgments and opinions. What might you call them? Silence. Present, yeah. You might call them sane. You might call them enlightened. Most of us exist somewhere on that bar graph, and it varies day to day, hour to hour. Sometimes a little less sane, sometimes more so. So the question is not so much how do you become more aware, it's what's blocking us from our natural awareness of life. What are all these extras we add to it? Um, I'll tell you about an experience I had. I was sitting on a curb in Berkeley, California, and I was, it was about an hour before my daily workout in the gymnasium, and I had bought a grapefruit. I was in the mood for a grapefruit. And I was peeling it, sitting on the curb, watching cars drive by. And uh, exhaust coming out of the cars and litter blowing in the streets. And all of a sudden, for no reason I can possibly explain, except partly, everything was absolutely perfect. The car exhaust was the most perfect car exhaust I ever saw. The litter in the street by the way, there was nothing in the grapefruit, nothing special. Uh, I just, if someone had attacked me, some crazy person, that would have been so perfect. And my response, whatever I, however I responded, would have been perfect too. The Vietnam War was still raging. But I was unable in, in that moment to perceive anything inside or out as less than a perfect part of our process of human evolution unfolding. Now, some people might say, that sounds like an enlightenment experience. But what I believe it was, was just a few moments of free attention. Awareness is just consciousness, pure awareness. But it's channeled by human beings as attention, by paying attention. So all these ideas of mindfulness, really just paying attention without judgments or extras, just seeing what is going on inside and out. Meditation helps because we're not distracted by all the doing. And just sitting, we become aware of what's going on inside. But during our normal day, there's the outside. And for example, I had a teacher once who we'd be eating and then all of a sudden he'd say, what pattern is the plate you're eating, eating upon? And I'd go, oh, I didn't really notice. Or what color is the ceiling? Don't look. He'd have me close my eyes. So he was seeing if I was paying attention. Most of the time our attention is not free. 